All right, so I've had a lot of people actually ask me um, like how I go about my day when I pick out outfits. So I'm gonna kind of take you on what DeJorn does when I pick out my outfit, okay? So first I have my messy closet. Um, due to a recent flood when all the snow and stuff was melting here, um, our basement flooded, so I had to move. I had to move my clothes into my beautiful daughter's room. So don't mind all the <laughs> Hello Kitties at the top. Um, but so I'm temporarily using her closet. Uh, but I have suit coats, um, suits, shirts. Um, I have my loafers, uh, jeans and pants here, and then I have shoes. Um, now, because of the move, of course, there's <laughs> things are out of order, but I usually have things kind of like color coordinated and in a certain order. So you can kind of get that drift here where like I have um, my pants here, blazers here, and then dress shirts then go on into the back. Um, and I have like my loafers in a separate place than my actual dress shoes. So, um, oh, and then the, look at that, there's shorts too. <laughs> um, so what I do, I, you know, I come and I kind of get a drift of what I exactly uh, want to wear. So with that being said, um, you know, I will, I'll pick out something like, okay, do I want to have this with a belt or do I want to have these color shoes on? Do I know that I want to wear a white shirt? Do I know that I want to wear a blue shirt? Um, it also depends on weather, which blazer that I use or what color that I would wear. Um, cause I don't want to be too hot wearing like all black. Um, and then also depends on the event, you know, if it is something where I do have to wear a black suit or a dark colored suit, um, something where I might be in the courthouse where I know I have to have a blazer on, I can't just, you know, wear, um, a shirt and, and pants, um, that all, you know, has to do with that. But so first off, I would pick out that, like what, what exactly I need to wear it for. From there, I would then pick out pants blazer and a shirt um my tie is sometimes in between those steps um but usually that's the order that i i put it in because i want to make sure that it matches and then i match the tie up to the attire that i'm wearing so i have a whole separate closet just with ties and bow ties um and then here's another rack in here um it spins again this is all because of a, a flood issue that I have things kind of all over the place uh, things are a little bit more organized um, these ties back here have been passed down through generations um, from my grandfather to my dad to me my dad was a big tie wearer and he would wear crazy stuff like this to work and I remember picking out his ties it's actually if you want to know where I got um, my whole tie fetish from, that's exactly where it came from. Um, one of my favorites that I can't wait to wear is the Minim Minnie Mouse one. Um, I'm a huge Disney fan, and um, I can't wait to wear that. Um, one thing you'll notice that I do have here is I have all my bow ties and ties actually separated. Um, this is easier for me to be able to pick out because then I can know right away, do I want to wear a bow tie or do I want to wear a tie? Um, and like I said, I have everything picked out, and from there I can pick out uh, three or four bow ties. So let's just say um, I'm wearing uh, red. Um, and here's actually here's four um, different bow ties that have red in them. Um, you know, they all kind of have their own different style. Of course, now I wouldn't wear this one unless it's Christmas, and that's exactly what that one is for. Um, you know, and you can see I have, like, this one is a little bit more business professional. This one is business professional. Um, so is this. I have wide. Um, I have pre-tied. Uh, pre and, of course, I have my, my pride one. Um, I have all, all different stuff. Um, it'd be cool if somebody made me some. Um, and then for ties, you know, that's the same thing as far as it goes for ties. Now here, I have a, a cotton or a wool. Um, and then, you know, like here's, here's more of, this is Banana Republic. Um, here is more of a business, um, tie. Uh, and then I have, you know, 
my wife really loves this pattern, as you can see. Um, I have several of these, actually. Um, but then I have, you know, these that are more for, um, you know, going out, uh, fun type of ties. Um, I have skinny ties. I have super, super skinny ties. And then I have, you know, standard, regular um, ties. I do think I actually have a couple of even wider ones as well, but that would be my tie collection. So I have predetermined basically what I'm going to wear because I have a mock trial today for class. So I know that I have to be in court attire. So I'm going to take you through steps of basically what I would do once I have my outfit picked out. Okay, so here's my outfit. Um, what I originally did was I picked out my shirt first. Um, I knew that that was a shirt that I wanted to wear. Um, so that's exactly what I picked out. Um, next then, I picked out blue. I love wearing my Calvin Klein blue suit when it comes to court dates. Um, or anything that's involved with the legal field. Um, and then I picked out khakis. I got khakis because, um, it's only a mock trial. Any other time I would have on a full suit. Um, and I want to be a, just a tad bit more laid back. Um, and because I did the khaki, and I thought it was going to be sunny outside, I used my brown leather coach belt, and then I picked my brown leather um, Aldo shoes. So that's, these two are what I'm matching together, okay? And then from there, <clears throat> like I said, I then picked out my tie. Um, there is a possibility that this tie could change. It, I usually kind of wait until I have everything on, um, and I determine a tie from there, and then I usually switch it up. The only other option that could possibly happen is I, like, switch shirts, um, in between there. But usually, jacket, belt, pants, shoes are standard and are the same. Um, I also then have my own little ironing board and iron. Um, that then I will go ahead and iron everything, make sure everything is straight. Um, and that's how I get ready. So I will post a video or a picture, more than likely a picture, of what exactly I look like then after I have picked out my outfit and ironed everything out. Um, I always post things and post what brand I am wearing. Um, I don't, it's not something that I, I care to uh, have like I have to have brand names because I don't um, a lot of the things that I find I have found on sale on Clarence I have pre-ordered or something like that um, I, I travel a lot so a lot of things I I get from different states that's why people don't really see them um, and I'm not afraid to wear something twice a lot of people are afraid to you know be seen in something twice like somebody's gonna say something it's like no um especially with guys when you have a favorite j uh, jacket or suit coat you have these things tailored or they're supposed to be tailored to you um so why buy something that you're gonna have tailored and you're only gonna wear it you know one time i understand you know for weddings and there's certain things that those type of things happen where you do only wear it once um but those are nights that you're expecting to pay you know thousands and thousands of dollars but for something that you know, me, an everyday thing where you're wearing suits or I just like wearing blazers and things like that and ties. No, I don't, I don't have to. I have, you've seen how many ties I had. You've seen how many shirts I had. You've seen how many blazers I had. I can switch it up. You can see me um, with my blue blazer and khaki several times, but I have 500 different shirts that I could wear and I have another 500 different ties that I could wear and another five different pairs of shoes or different belt that will change up that whole thing. Um, so, uh, that's how I get dressed. That's how I, I pick out my suits and what I do as far as what's at home in my closet. So thanks.